My name is Jeff Sims from North Little Rock, Arkansas, and I bought the first Apex tier. The sight unseen, I bought an $11,000 kayak. And you know why I did it? Because of the weight. Plain and simple was the weight to, to cut down. Fishing kayaks are typically gotten bigger and heavier and bulkier. And uh, you know, at, at your age, and the older you get, you just want to be able to have something and, and enjoy it and have have something where it's not a big hassle. So I, I saw that as an advent, advantageous type item in, in my purchase. So. When I bought this boat, I was getting engaged. There was a difference between a engagement ring or the apex. And I gotta tell you, I did a big flip there, and I knew if I brought the boat home before the engagement ring, guess what? She got a ring almost the twice the price as this boat did. <laughs> so you have an idea. So needless to say, I got a boat and I got two girls out of the deal. So there you go. You know, if you think about it, it's nice, beautiful boat. A lot of um, I can see a lot of expansion with the boat. I think it could be a good multi-use boat. I think the biggest thing is also um, the different styles of water you can float on. Um, if you, I mean, if you bought boats and owned boats in the past and been in this thing for, God, I've been in floating for 40 years. Is uh, you know, I'm a river guy, but I can easily use this on big water if I wanted to, just with a couple of slight configurations and changes and you know, resetting up the boat. So really, you're getting, you know, instead of having a whole quiver of boats. Like I do now, trailers full of different things and whatnot, and garages full of stuff. I really have one boat, so really you can simplify your life a little bit better with this one boat. I came to the factory, and really what I observed was really, it's it's not like, hey, we're just hanging out, we're having a good time. We're really working trying to pr produce a good product. Even even uh, going as far as backing up when things are you know concerned, you know, chances, a lot of quality uh, control. So. That needs to be taken into consideration, especially for guys that are waiting for their boat to come in. Uh, I can see that, people being concerned about it. Be patient, it's coming. Uh, a lot of efforts to go through everything, uh, all the way down to the attention to detail uh, on um, track systems and things of weight. Everything is based on weight and strength, so uh, that's, that's a good thing. It should make everybody feel really confident. In their uh, in their purchase uh, and, and all, other things on the horizon, other things that we're looking at down the line to to improve the boat. Uh, obviously, when you when you're when you're baking a cake, it takes a lot of things to bake the cake. Uh, so uh, the attention to detail with the fiber uh, and uh, just the learning process at the factory to kind of figure out uh, it, that it's it's not a simple mold process like a plastic boat. I mean, this is this is this is the real deal. You're making a you're making a bass boat that you can carry with one hand. Easily see this boat, you know, in, in the you know in a slew duck hunting. You know, there's a lot of different variations you can use. You can use this for recreation. You can use this as a stand-up boat. You got to remember, you know, what what you're using the boat for. A bass can change it into whatever your style or format is on water.